What do you reckon? Time for a new brush? I reckon. Five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got the chassis pushed outside and I've got my flathead engine sitting there. Uh, we need to button that up, cylinder head back on, give it a clean paint, new water pumps, put a clutch in it, and hopefully, you never know, what better throw it in. Now, it's my understanding, and please correct me if I'm wrong, this is a 1937 21 stud 221 flathead V8 from Ford. Um, I know it came out of a running car. I bought it quite a few years ago, so we shouldn't have any dramas with it. Um, it has had the head removed at one stage, so we'll clean that up, put it back on. We'll give this thing a, a wash down and a new coat of paint and uh, we'll make it look spick and span. I will eventually get some um, chrome acorn nuts or covers. Um, I'll have to do some research on where I can get them locally because freight from the States is ridiculous at the moment. The only thing I really need to make for this that I don't have is something to adapt a 12 volt alternator. We'll get to that when we get to it. It shouldn't be too hard. So first job, we'll rip the gearbox off and then we'll start giving it a clone. Now because I can't hose this thing down because it's in pieces, I'm going to use some degreaser, get rid of the, the oil and the grime and then hit it with some uh, mineral terps and a brush, air gun, then some brake cleaner and then we'll paint it. It's the only way I can really do it. It'll be effective. Time for a new brush? I reckon. How about that? It's come up pretty sparkly. I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out. It wasn't a grubby motor to start with, just had a bit of oil and a lot of dust. So we can just about be ready to paint it. I'll clean up the water pump surfaces, put the new water pumps on, take the manifold off because that's going to be silver. The rest of it, you'll see. So I've got the head off, which was already kind of off anyway, and I'm a little bit disappointed, I'm not going to lie. I was hoping it was going to be a copper gasket. It's not. Um, it's composite and it's cactus. Can't really reuse that. I'm really hoping I have one in stock. I know I've got gaskets, but I don't think I've got any 21 stud head gaskets. We'll have to have a look because they're pretty much unobtainium in Australia at the moment. So it's going to delay things. But let's go and have a rummage and let's see if I can find one. So disappointingly, all my gaskets are for 24 stud engines, so she ain't going to work. Intake gasket works though, 
everything else works. That doesn't, so I'm going to have to order one. It's not going to stop me putting it in, putting it together. I'm just not going to be able to fire it up until I get that gasket. So I'm going to get on line now and order one. And then we'll start dressing this guy up. On a positive note though, I did find my clutch. It's in excellent condition. So I need to clean up the surfaces. I need to find the bolts that hold that on. And we can put that in as well. sun cracks through the front door of my garage I think it's time to crack out the paint let's hit this thing <laughs> coat dry I'm gonna have some lunch and I'll come out and give it another shot right oh let me teach you how to align a clutch without a dummy shaft or an input shaft there's a couple of ways to do it and there's a couple of ways I was taught and I've done I don't know hundreds and hundreds of them this way very rarely I've had a, um, a dummy input shaft um, but the way I was taught as an apprentice back in the olden days was you know I don't know if you can see the shadow but there's clutch material sticking up above there and if I put my fingers underneath there'll be a big gap and basically I don't know if you can get this how I'm trying to explain it but you get the same with your fingers you can feel it so it's the same all the way around and if it's the same all the way around on the pressure plate it'll be in the middle there and I've never got it wrong the other way to do it is to eyeball it but by feel you just keep adjusting it until you find that it's exactly the same on your fingers all the way around it should be in the center so anyway that's what I'm gonna do and uh, I'm not gonna bore you with that but next step will be putting the gearbox in Righto, let's see if I'm all just blah 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 or I know what I'm talking about. Let's we'll see if we can get this uh, gearbox in first, go away.
I'm not even in there. Spawn yet. Check it out. We're in. You gotta love it when a plan comes together. Next, I reckon we crown this old girl. What do you say? How about a bit of dressing on your salad? What do you reckon? I reckon she's looking pretty good. She look nice dressed up with the chrome acorn nuts on the top. We'll sort them out. Don't have to be straight away. Headers look good. I'll take them back off there, just sitting there to look pretty at the moment. But yeah, new water pumps. She's ready to go in. Well, that's about as much as I'm going to do today. I'm pretty naked. It's getting cold. The sun's on its way down. But I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out. Trying to find a head gasket's going to be a bit of a drama, but might have to get it from the States. We'll see how we go locally. I've put the word out. Um, but yeah. Next video, I think we'll, uh, we'll stick it in the chassis. And um, start bolting everything to it. And then we can really start thinking about working on this cab over here. It's... Uh, it needs more work than anything, so we're on track. We've got like nine weeks or something till the two events I've got to go to, so plenty of time, I reckon. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.